Hello everybody. As you can see here, I've pre-cut these uh, construction paper stencils. Uh, I've done this in an earlier video. And uh, what I did to make sure they stick to the plate is just take some plain copy paper and apply an even pressure. Um, the stencils are not going to stick to the copy paper. They will stick to the plate instead. Okay. It's just to keep keep this from shifting around as a precaution. So um, as a, for starters, I will use light blue. And uh, some yellow green. And uh, a little phthalo blue. So I'm going very easy on the brayer, not pressing too hard, I'm just letting it glide very gently over the jelly plate. And sometimes when you press too hard with the brayer, it pulls up the stencil. Uh, that's what happened in my other video with a blooper. Okay. Okay. And I always have to make a note to myself that um, I have to remember to take these off before I lay the paper on. See, in this case, I uh, didn't wait too long, so the pieces are coming off fairly easily. Without ripping. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Don't want to forget this one. And this one. Almost missed this.
There we go. So now I have the uh, stencil paper removed and now I'm ready to apply my paper. In this case, it's this piece. It's a brilliant red orange, which I think is going to react with the uh, light blues and greens. So here we go. Again, I'm carefully placing it on the registration mark. Just making sure that all the ink is going to transfer. So let's see what we got. See where the stencils were. You have this very clear cut shape. And I'm very happy with this result. Now this, this is an example of uh, when it doesn't register exactly, but it, it's okay, it's not too bad, it kind of adds to, the, uh, adds to the effect of the print. And uh, I'm quite happy with this result. Let me turn this right side up so you can see let me try to get you a close-up so you can see the very subtle textures that are produced by the uh, plate Pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, put this aside to dry. This other piece that was done earlier and while this is still wet I will see if this is going to work. Pressing really hard this time because it's a second pass and uh, just trying to make sure that the ink will transfer. By the way, um, I use the term ink and paint interchangeably uh, in this case. That's from years and years of using oil-based inks and the habit stuck of calling the paints inks. Mm. 
Oh, I think it gives it a very nice texture. What looked a little plain earlier. So it actually makes a more a more interesting and complex image. I like this. Here you go. I'll give you a close up of the textures produced. So I, I think it's worth it to, to spend the time to uh, cut your collage pieces, save them up and use them. And you will be richly rewarded by the results. And uh, you learn from your mistakes, but uh, when you do things right, it makes it all worth it. Thank you for watching.